My next guest will grill Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen this Tuesday when she appears before the Senate Finance Committee. Wyoming Senator John Barrasso is the third ranking Senate Republican. He joins me right now. Senator, it's good to see you. Thanks very much for being here. You're about yeah, to, you. to, to question Janet Yellen. What are you expecting to ask her? Well, well, first, the president's come out with his plan to fight inflation. It's not a plan. It's an embarrassment. If a high school kid turned that in as an economics paper, they'd get a D minus. But for a president to say that at the time of record high inflation for prices, for gas, for groceries, he deserves an F because it's full of finger pointing, false accusations. And Maria, he takes no responsibility for his economic malpractice, because that's what this is. He's missed the diagnosis for over a year, and the American people have been suffering. And we've been suffering because he refuses to allow us to use the energy we have right here in America. He's so beholden to the climate elitist. And look, even the Washington Post, their Pinocchio people gave him four Pinocchios for lying to the American people about his economic plans. Yeah, I mean, we have the op-eds, the tear sheets of these op-eds. He's been on this tour this week trying to tell the American people that he's in charge, but that op-ed on inflation didn't give us any solutions. So what, what's the answer? No. Yeah. Well, those are the points I want to get into with Janet Yellen. Number one is, why aren't we producing more American energy? That seems to be a clear-cut solution. And number two is, how can you believe that raising taxes is going to help? That's the cornerstone of their economic policy. I mean, that is that makes no sense to the American people when they can't afford food or groceries to be faced with increasing taxes. That's not the solution. But you're right. The president has his cabinet members out traveling the country saying, hey, it's not all that bad. The American people yeah. are paying $4.75 for gas. They understand right. they, they're going to believe their own two eyes, which is their, their wallets, which are empty, and their savings are shrinking. But, Senator, is it intentional? We're going to take a short break. I want to ask you if the administration is purposely driving up energy costs to ram through a climate agenda. They are. And why is Biden planning a trip to they Saudi are. Arabia? He hasn't even been to Ukraine. He hasn't been to the southern border. You just got back from Kiev, where you met we with President Zelensky. Here. We are going to talk about that right after this. Stay with us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.